All right, I'm gonna make a really quick and simple video going over how to use the crab tool. Uh, this might change in the future, so I'm just gonna use this as a basis to go off of from now. Uh, you're gonna to go to this GitHub page, go to code, download the zip file. There you go. You'll extract this wherever you want. I'll choose my downloads folder. Okay. Now, within Blender, for the first time, you go to Edit, Preferences, Install, go to your Downloads folder, go to where you've installed it, install the add-on. You'll see it pop up, you will check this on, and you'll have this panel open up here. So now what this is, is this is the uh, asset export path, where you basically will be extracting all your game assets from Reclaimer with your textures and your uh, model files. And if I was gonna do that here, I would be selecting this folder just to make it real easy for you. I've also included default shader for, uh, folder as well, full of other stuff that you'll need. So just once you've uh, selected this folder, hit accept, accept again, and make sure that's this folder, okay? Now, you'll have this shader.blend file. This is the directory to the blend file that you'll need for all the shader node groups. So you'll go where you downloaded it, it's gonna call it Halo 3 Categories. This was made by Chiefster uh, and also help from Soulburner as well. So you'll accept that. And then these are also mandatory. Uh, I don't know a way to get around that, but um, you'll need the Halo 3 mod tools, the Halo 3 ODST mod tools as well. Um, you can get that by going on Steam. And if you have a Halo MCC, you'll see this Halo 3 mod tools, ODST mod tools, and Reach mod tools. And once you download those, you can then go, and let's see, I think I have them downloaded in here, Steam Library, Common, and they live in here wherever you download them. And then you'll go into it, and there'll be a folder with a zip file. And you're gonna click here and just extract here. And once you've extracted those, all of these folders will now be populated, and this tags folder is what you want, okay? So what I do is I do that for each game, export each of those zip files. So for Halo 3 tags, I browse. I have them pinned as a bookmark, so I can just go there. Tags, accept, accept, it's there. ODST, tags, accept. And reach doesn't quite work, it's not fully functioning at the moment. It kind of just absolutely messes everything up. There's reach tags. All right, now everything is installed. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to import. It doesn't matter necessarily what format it is as long as the materials are correct, okay? So I had all my other stuff. Um, hold on, I have to change this actually because I'll just do a full video on it. Okay, let's do it. I was gonna go where I already extracted stuff, but I might as well do the full, the full process here. So you'll go to Reclaimer, open a file. Uh, let's say uh, choo -choo -choo. Cyberdyne, which is the pit, right? And what you're gonna wanna do is grab either like, the full map, for example. Wait a moment. Grab all the geometry. You're gonna wanna go to where you've downloaded it, export assets here, and hit save. Export bitmaps, make sure it's in export assets here. Export it, you'll see it go, all right? And while you're at it, you might as well grab some render models to play around with. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, you can do that yourself. But yeah, make sure they export to that one location as well. Uh, and just for this example, I will also be grabbing uh, duh, 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 duh. We might as well grab an ODST map as well, just for just for the full effect here. I haven't actually tested this since my recent changes, so I hope it goes okay. So we're gonna grab one of the huge Mombasa streets levels here. Wait for it to load, all right. And it's gonna be in the export assets here. Make sure that your format is correct. Okay, and then keep an eye on what format of texture you export it as too. Uh, I have a, um, 
option within Blender to basically choose what format you're doing it, but you can check uh, by going, I think it's settings, and then, oh God, I haven't done this in a while. Did this change, oh boy. Here we go. Material extension is .tiff. Um, but that's actually, it's a .material. So maybe that's different. Oh, there you go. Bitmap format, I have it as PNG. Okay, so now we've grabbed all that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna import it. So you'll go file, you'll import it with whatever you choose. And you'll go into where you've stored them. Okay, we'll do the pip first. Okay, so here we are in the pip. Get to a little spot here. Okay. Now, what I usually do, just to keep an eye on things, I move it over to the side. Go to Window, Toggle System Output. There we go. And then now, when you're in here, you click uh, N on your keyboard or click uh, this little thing here. Grab Tool. And make sure you do this if you have a new Blender scene. What this does is you'll notice if I go to, if I click on this, if I go to Add Group, there's nothing here. But if you go to Crab Tool, you click Append Group Nodes, now they exist. So that way you don't have to fumble around trying to do extra steps. It already does it for you. All right, so you've clicked that. If you click it again, nothing happens. So I just you can click as many times as you want. This is where you select your game that you're going to be using the tags from which is important because if you're doing an ODST map, you're going to select it ODST. But if you're doing Halo 3, you'll keep it at uh, Halo 3. You'll use your uh, image texture format here. I have it .png, and then I'll just hit start, and it'll just start shredding through it. Um, this will go on for quite some time, depending on how big your asset or your level is. Uh, one level can take about maybe about a minute, maybe two minutes. Um, but if you're doing like a full campaign level, that can take anywhere from two or three minutes, uh, which is a lot better than doing it all by hand for a month. Um, there's still a lot of issues. Um, there's a lot of bugs. Uh, and there's other shader types I haven't implemented yet, like halograms, uh, water shaders, decals. So if you import the Pelican, you'll notice the decals are not fully functioning yet. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, there's just some other goofiness, and if you if you notice problems and stuff, reach out to me on Discord, um, and I'll <laughs> take a look at it and see. Uh, let's see. And there's also some um, combinations of shader nodes that don't quite match up yet, and so I got to go through and figure out which ones don't connect, why they don't connect, um, and then fix that as well. It should be done here pretty soon. On this map enough where I get a feeling for it. As soon as you see a crab down here, you'll know it's done. I tried to add a progress bar, and uh, <laughs> it was kind of a pain in the ass. It did not work very well. Okay. There we go. There's the crab. All right. So we're going to go to the material mode and kind of see what's going on here. And you will see it. You see the pelicans have already loaded in. And then the level will start updating all the shaders and stuff like that. If you click around, it goes a little faster too. Um, but that's how you use it for Halo 3. It's very much so the same process for ODST as well. Um, just make sure you change this to ODST and make sure you have the Halo 3 ODST tag tools installed. And again, make sure you go, so this is Halo 3. Make sure you go to Halo 3 ODST Editing Kit and extract this zip file because that's where the tags live. And here you go. Here's the pit. All right. And you can go and add some HDRIs to that. I haven't added Vista support yet, so you can't really do skyboxes yet. Um, but play around with it and uh, let me know about that. And here, before we go, we will do an additional one with Mombasa. We go. We'll see if it works. Oh, another thing I got to fix too is uh, mirror wrapped textures. That doesn't quite work out either. 
All right, so that's a brand new blend file. All right, so I gotta append this. And if you don't append it, make sure you change it to ODST as well. If you don't, it'll complain about um, certain category keys material model not missing, okay? Or uh, single lobe fong not found because it doesn't know that that shader group is called. But as soon as you append it, it'll start working. Sometimes also the startup will take a little bit, and I think it's because it's trying to gather up a whole lot of the uh, the group node instances as well. So if it if it pauses for a little while after you hit start, don't don't worry. It usually will unfreeze for. Uh, I think I've seen it free frozen for at least like a minute, but that's not too bad. And I'll probably cut the video here and then update it once it's actually done. All right, there we go. So it's now starting to take on the shaders. It just finished. And we'll see what this looks like. I don't expect a whole lot from full campaign maps um, or full levels just yet. There's still a lot of stuff I gotta fix, um, but it's a whole lot better than doing the rest of it yourself. Um, but you can do it with uh, other full campaign levels as well. It'll do its best. Uh, and they don't look half bad right now. So you can probably still get some cool shots um, and some cool art out of it. Uh, and if any any case, it might just do half your work for you anyway. So there it goes. It's starting to apply. I haven't actually tested this level in quite some time, so it's already looking a lot better than it did the other day. There's a lot of cases too where a lot of these um, lighter toned textures. Um, I believe on top are like bounding box stuff. So sometimes you might have to go and delete that layer as well. And sometimes it's because default values are not being used. Um, but you can see these values are starting to be a cry. These are some lights and stuff. Um, there is, where can I, there's an example of it here. There's some stuff. This might be a good example of it. Uh, there's probably a better one. There's uh, mirror wrap textures that don't fully work yet. I'll try to find an example here in one of these buildings, maybe. I think it's down here. Yeah, these. These um, are not fully working yet. Oh, hold on. Let me go back over to where it was. I think it was right here. There we go. This is not how it's supposed to look, uh, I believe. Let me see here. Oh, and also all of these are generated automatically. So it does all this work for you. And if you notice one that looks broken, that just, you know, you gotta let me know. It's, they're not fully supported yet. Or that Maybe there's a combination that's not fully supported yet. Um, there's a terrain shader in there. Where is the one with the mirror wrapping? There it is, all right. Oh, no, it's not pillars, actually. It's got to be something else. Is this it? Wall base tile? I think this might be it. No, it's not. Wow. I'm genuinely surprised. Anyway, some of these up here aren't mirrored correctly. Uh, so I got to go through the, the uh, hexadecimal data and uh, figure that out. It's all within this, this stuff here. Um, but yeah, I hope this was helpful. Uh, I'll probably make a better one in the future. And if I don't, it's because I'm lazy and stuff got in the way. So uh, let me know if you need help. Uh, bye.